what's up guys it's mark from wandering souls back with you with another video um, today is a sunday february 27th um yeah restrictions are off uh, concerning covid um in the netherlands so it's time to um yeah you can go visit to fairs um concerts and that sort of kind of stuff we can visit that again uh, so it's really awesome um, today I'm going to a record fair in the Ijsselhal in Zwolle and uh, see how that goes and I'm gonna take you with me guys to go so I'm record hunting but first uh, we're gonna do that we are gonna collect some cash of course from the bank um, Otherwise, uh, we can buy records, right? Um, so we're gonna do that first. So um, here we go. Well, collected some euros here. Um, yes, this is how a euro build it looks like. Um, anyways, um, I always um, try to collect cash in forehand. It's the easy way to um, don't. We spent too much money on the fair, so there is opportunity to, to um, collect some extra cash there. But most of the time, I don't do that because, like I said, yeah, eager um, to to spend some too much money. And um, yeah, a record fair uh, hunting is cool, but um, you also gotta watch your own home situation, of course. Um, so be wise, don't spend too much, there are, will be other opportunities to obtain a certain record. Um, this record fair is most of the time held every year, but during this COVID situation, of course, it wasn't possible. But um, if things, now if things are open and hopefully they stay, they stay open. Um, with this variant, it is the possibility that it stays open. Hopefully there won't be another variant of COVID that spoils it, but we'll see how it goes this year. Um, but that this um, variant there is now is seems to be contagious, but not um, making people that sick that they have to go to the hospital. This, so they decided to, that, to open up all things. Um, so and the people are uh, sick for a week. And, uh, and that is probably most of the time it uh, sick I mean like uh, having uh, fever uh, yeah signs uh, and, and get a cold and had a headache that kind of stuff um, kind of like the flu in a bit so how it feels nowadays um, it was worse but most of the people in the Netherlands are vaccinated like almost 85% to 90% somewhere in the thing. I don't know the exact numbers, but um, yeah, that's the situation now. But um, luckily there are record fairs now, and um, yeah, and hopefully uh, want to go to a concert soon as well. It's been too long, way too long. The last concert I visited was in 2020, uh, beginning of 2020, I think. So it's been way too long. Um, yeah, that's how it is. Um, now it's time to go to the fair and um, yeah, get off from there. Um, you'll see what I have to go after the fair. I have to pick up some groceries as well because my uh, father-in-law comes to visit our house. So um, do after that, but it, it hasn't anything to do with this video. Uh, hopefully, you guys can see me because the sun is shining on the screen a bit um, if you can't i'm very sorry um, but yeah so um this fair i'm going to is in the isohol in zwolle like i said it's one of the biggest one uh, one day for, uh, fairs in the netherlands we have of course the Megaplaat and CD bus in um, Utrecht, but that's uh, two days and um, I've actually about one day event. And this is one of the biggest ones, so um, yeah, hopefully we can find some stuff there, probably will. Um, it's 
some of my favorite vendors are there as well so probably will end up buying some stuff from that dude um, Schaus Music is the name of the vendor um, if every time if he is, is there I buy something from him because he has a lot of cool stuff but I'll see how it turns out this, uh, this year um, anyways um, yeah I'm really excited to go to the fair it's been a, a long time like I said and um, yeah just have some fun there and um, hopefully I can take you guys with me it's not hard to film there, that's uh, the thing there, but we'll see. Um, and of course I try to do a whole part after the event shots and um, talk to you about the whole things I bought there. Um, that's the thing I want to do here. So we're almost there, it's only uh, a few blocks away, let's put it that way. Um, so I'm excited where this all goes. Like I said, um, it's, kind of, uh, it's like one, two, three traffic lights, and probably then um, it's to the left, and then we are there. But uh, you don't know sometimes how traffic lights, how much time they are, um, because that depends on how much traffic there is, of course. Um, let's just see. For this one we have to wait already. Um. <laughs> so yeah, what else to say guys? Um, are you um, going to wreck affairs regularly? Um, if so, which ones and um, yeah, what hopefully, hopefully most of the time what do you find there etc. Let me know in the comment section down below. Um, do you like visiting wreck affairs? Um, yeah. What's your thoughts on that? And, uh, yeah, I'm curious how it is um, in your country. Are you around, allowed or already to go to record fairs because of this situation right now? Um, I don't know. It's in every country different, of course, and uh, that's why I kind of ask. I see a lot of European countries getting open uh, at the moment, like uh, the Netherlands, Germany. Uh, Belgium, uh, the UK, um, and a few others um, are open. Uh, Denmark, I think, uh, Sweden. So I'm curious how it is in your area. So let me know, guys. Um, and then if I'm talking bullshit, of course, let me know as well. Um, because situations, situations change a lot. So this is the second to last. Um, Traffic light, and um, yeah, I'll see where it goes. We have arrived, guys. Um, let's see how it goes here. Yo, I'm back. Uh, it was fun to uh, be at a record fair again, but bought a bunch of stuff, bought a bunch of records, and I also bought some CDs, even. Let's see if it wants to get out here. So it's like, uh, if you guys can see it. But um, I will get them out, uh, of course, at home. So it was a fun day, so now it's time to drive home and uh, see where it all uh, have bought. So welcome, uh, I'm back uh, at home now and um, sorry for the noise of the dryer, it's spinning at the background, but anyways, I'm um, back from the record fair, really enjoyed my time there, have a couple of hours of fun of digging to record, uh, stop the records and uh, also bought and 
also through the CDs. I bought records and CDs. I bought seven records and I bought six CDs. So uh, I'm really good for a while, I think. Um, didn't find a lot of extreme metal, but I wasn't really looking for something in particular. I just browsed through it. Um, yeah, let's get to what I've bought. Um, Let's start off with the CDs, they're all 5 or so, it's all really cheap. Um, I bought ACDC for those about to rock, um, the 1981 album, um, so I'm really glad to have that in my collection. Also re-bought the Hell for the Resurrection, I had this in the back in the day on CD and I'm really glad to have it back. It's a phenomenal album, fantastic songs on it, and um, yeah, fantastic portion of it. And uh, the whole voice, really, really great voice on this album, and yeah, great songs. Um, definitely glad to have this. This is probably the next one, is probably the only bit extreme metal album that's in this uh, old stack. And this is Legion, the fragments of form and function. And this is another fresh taffy progressive band. Um, yeah, I have some more material from this band, but I didn't have this album yet, so I'm really glad to have this one in the collection. Awesome. Also found some pretty mates. Um, I found Spooked. And this is, was released by Mexico Records in 1997. Metal. I'm really glad to have this in my collection. I also found uh, anything worth doing is worth overdoing. This is the 1999 album from this band. Yeah, really nice for a five. You can go wrong here. I think fantastic band. So uh, glad to have this in the collection. And I also found Rage with the end of all days. Fantastic album, I'm really glad to have this. This is an album I wanted for a while. I really adore the cover and uh, it's definitely an album I wanted to have. So I'm glad to have it in the collection. Um, then over to the final. About a 1975 press of UFO Forces. This was uh, on the Chrysalis label, and this is a German pressing. Fantastic album. Uh, Michael Schenker uh, brought a lot of good stuff to his bands. And, uh, when he came in the band, the band definitely uh, got bigger. Uh, this is a fantastic album, fantastic release. Also about an old pressing. From Rockarola from Jesus Priest on the blue label. I can remember that my brother had a copy of this one. Um, not exactly the same version, I think. I thought his thing was a bit bigger, but um, yeah, Death Plus, I really love to have this. And I finally got it. And these are great pressings, so. This is um, Killing Machine by Judas Priest, also bought that one. This is also an old pressing, this is from 1978. Really glad to have this in the collection. And I bought a German pressing, I think, yes, a German pressing of Except Restless and Wild. And this is an original 1982 pressing. So I'm really glad to have this. Fantastic album. Then I found um, the first album, first album I think, or second one. I don't know what you call it. This is a loudness with Devil Soldier, and this is an original Japanese pressing. This is a Japanese a heavy metal band formed in uh, the early 80s. This is their 19. 
two album. Let's see the inside. The only thing sadly is missing is the OB strip, but it's definitely the hard stuck in Japanese pressing. Came with um, inner sheet with the lyrics in Japanese on the inside. So it's definitely the first Japanese pressing here. There were two versions. There was a one more luxurious version. We had a poster with it. This is not this version. And that one also had an OB. Um, and these are the official two Japanese pressings that were made. There were a few other, other pressings in other countries, but it's definitely a Japanese one. So I'm really stoked to find that one for a really nice price because this can go for big bucks. But I didn't, so uh, fantastic that I have this one. And the final thing I bought is an old pressing, I think from 1984, yes, 1984 press. This is a UK press from Slided In from um, White Snake. Sorry for all the glare here, but it has a shiny um, sleeve. So that's all the stuff I bought. Um, yeah, really, really happy with all these things. So um, I have a lot of new stuff to spin here. Not a lot of the steel metal, like I said, but um, I don't mind. Um, fantastic stuff here. Thanks for joining uh, on my journey. Um, I didn't film super much inside, as you guys could see, just some overview uh, pictures. Didn't feel like going through flipping with the camera all the time. Um, it took a lot of time, and there were a lot of people in there that were almost next to me. So it was hardly hard. If there was space, then I would film that kind of stuff. But um, there was a lot of people next to me flipping, so it's really hard to make that kind of footage. Um, anyways. See you guys next time. Let me know in the, um, the comment section what you think about the albums. I will name the albums all in the description so you can have look them up and see what they saw here, what they sound like. Um, if you got something to say, guys, put it down there. Um, if you feel like you want to add more to the community, consider subscribing to my channel and discover more new bands. Some support, of course. Um, yeah, more videos to come. So, uh, thank you all for watching, guys. And see you guys next time.